but that's just a suggestion. That's maybe something I've got. You know, the ice will melt and like sometimes my food will get wet. It's just, it just became a whole hassle. If I'm gonna be spending my car and saving money, then okay, I'm not gonna be spending six and seven dollars on a smoothie every time I want one. I had ants in my car and y'all, it was so like, oh my God, it was so. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jasmine Barry Peace, and this is my story. All right, vibes, so today in this video, as you all can see by the title, we are gonna be discussing a couple things that I need to purchase before I actually move inside of my car. Now, I've been thinking about these things like, quite some time and I feel like these are some things that I'm actually am going to need um especially for my first experience like living in my car and I'm like dang I wish I would have had this I wish I would have had that also I do watch a lot of youtubers that does like van life living in their car and I also look up a lot of things on Pinterest as well I love Pinterest y'all so yeah I came across a couple things and I jotted them down that I feel as if I need while living in my car okay so as always you guys already know that i have written down a couple things so the first thing is a water filter i watched this girl on youtube her name is Susie cruz and uh she has like a water filter and i was like why have i never thought about getting a water filter um and you can basically get water from anywhere you know so I am definitely going to invest in a water filter. I did go to Kroger's and I saw some. You can get some that um, goes onto like a sink thing or you can get one that goes into like an actual water bottle. There's so many different ones. So I would definitely um, look into more of that so I can go ahead and invest in a water filter. All right, so moving right along. You guys know I do have a Halo Porter charger currently. Y'all, I'm, I'm sitting at work like in my parking, in the parking lot right now. So... <laughs> If y'all see people, just don't matter. It's people, okay? But anywho, um, you guys know I have a Halo portable charger where I can charge my phone on it. Um, I can charge like pretty much anything on it. I'll link a picture up above so that way you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. So I do have that charger, but I really want to invest in another one because I want one that... Uh, can take more watts that one only takes a certain amount of watts so i need one that that's a little bit stronger for different kind of things that i want to actually have while in my car so yeah i'm looking for another one if you guys know or have any suggestions on one just or anything any suggestions on anything that i think i may need while living in my car um going forward please let me know all right so the next thing that i'm going to need is i saw someone have a trifold mattress so y'all okay when i first lived in my car i could not figure out how the heck to lay down my entire seats like both parts of my seats and literally when i moved into my apartment and i went to go buy a mirror and I was like, I need this mirror. I need to figure out how to get this mirror in my car because I wanted the mirror so bad. So basically, I just went on YouTube and I was like, how do I let down my seats in a Nissan Altima? So <laughs> I found out how to do it and both my seats let down, which is perfect. So now I'm looking for like a tri -fi, a tri -fi, a trifold mattress. Um, I saw someone else have it and I was like, oh wait, I can definitely use that. And that would be better on my back and everything like that too. So definitely looking for that trifold mattress. Um, the next thing I am looking for is a, oh, so my best friend actually sent this to me. She saw this on a, um, Facebook group, uh, van life page or group message or something like that. So it's basically a steering wheel um, desk. So it's basically, it's a desk and it covers over your steering wheel. I'll link a picture up above. And you can just like hold your stuff for like eating and you know, using it for your laptop or whatever. I actually saw two that I really like. So hopefully one of the two work out for your girl. Okay, another thing is you guys know I love to keep my car clean. So I'm looking for a portable vacuum cleaner. So that way I don't have to spend so much money. Like that money adds up. Like I vacuum out my car and stuff like that pretty often. Now I have a um a, a car wash membership, but the only thing is that car wash is not like all over. So if I'm somewhere where I need to like clean out my car or whatever, I will already have that portable charger well vacuum cleaner in my car so i wouldn't have to spend money or you know try to find a gas station or a car wash to go ahead and vacuum out my car another thing too if you guys don't remember on last year when i went to miami um i had ants in my car and y'all it was so like oh my god it was so bad I, it was even hard for me to even drive to the gas the nearest gas station for me to vacuum out my car because it was just like ants was literally everywhere every freaking wear yeah so we need us a portable vacuum cleaner 
Okay, another thing too is I have a blender currently, but of course my blender has to be plugged into a socket for me to use. I did see that they do have portable um, blenders where you can put the, uh, you can, I think you press a button at the bottom of the cup and the blender just basically spins. Now I am a smoothie type of girl. I love smoothies. And if I'm gonna be staying in my car and saving money, then okay, I'm not gonna be spending six and seven dollars on a smoothie every time I want one. I can already have the stuff with me. So definitely get that por portable uh, cup blender thingy is something that I'm gonna need, okay? Okay. All right, so everybody knows right now with the whole pandemic, a lot of things are going on and a lot of the gyms, especially the one that I went to, well, I had a membership to Planet Fitness, they no longer allow you to use the showers. So I'm like, I'm still in the middle of trying to figure out how the heck I'm gonna shower. I know there's pro there's other gyms that probably do allow you to shower um, and other places that you can go. Cause I know like um, travel gas stations, they do have showers and stuff like that too. But um, what I am thinking about actually purchasing, it's called a, I wrote it down. What is it called? It's a portable outdoor shower. Now I think it is a good idea to have this. The only thing is like where I'm gonna actually shower at you know what i'm saying because i you guys know i have any sign i don't have anything like i'm not gonna like be completely naked shower showering outdoors but i'm just like where i'm gonna do it at still you know what i'm saying we're still working on that but that's just a suggestion that's maybe something i'm gonna need okay because you gotta, gotta wash your ass Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving forward, as I said before, Planet Fitness no, no longer allows you to use their showers. So I may have to get a new gym membership before actually moving into my car. The only thing is I, I don't want to get a membership um, because I feel like that also adds up. I mean, I get it. It's worth it, but it still adds up. And if I'm trying to like save every little dollar, then like I might need that membership. I no, y'all i don't know i'm still kind of thinking about it everything is still up in the air remember this is the preparing process so if you guys have any suggestions about as far as like showering or if i should or should not get a gym membership make sure you comment below because your girl just don't know okay but i need to wash okay okay so another thing that i did see is called a cargo cooler it's basically a um cooler that it connects the core connects to your socket inside of your car like your your charger socket thing it connects to that and i think this would be a lot better because before i had the cooler and i was putting ice in it i was always buying ice i was always you know the ice will melt and like sometimes my food would get wet it, it just became a whole hassle so i'm looking for one um the one that i'm gonna picture up here is not the exact one that i want but it's one that's very similar uh this one actually um it, it looks like it's a little bit too big and you guys know i'm in like or Ultima. <laughs> I don't have my other car anymore. But yeah, so that one, I, I, I just want something that's a little bit smaller. I don't want anything too big. Okay, another thing that I really, really need, y'all, is a portable Wi-Fi box. Again, I'm going to put the picture up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, before, as you guys know, I was in my car, and it was just hard for me to like upload videos and do this and do that, and I didn't have any Wi-Fi. Um, I have as time went by, I have learned different ways to upload my videos without having to be connected to Wi-Fi. And, and, you know, at all times, I can just, like, do everything pretty much from my phone. Um, so, yeah. So, I, I still want to have that portable Wi-Fi because, you know, I'm not trying to use up all my data. You know what I'm saying? Because I need to have some type of Wi-Fi around me. Not at all times, but at certain times. Depending on, like, certain videos that I have to, like, upload and I have to go online on the actual desktop to um, monetize the videos. Um, that would become a little bit of a hassle trying to find somewhere to go do that if I don't have Wi-Fi. And I will be able to pretty much do it at any time. I don't have to wait until a business is open or closed or whatever. I can do it just pretty much anywhere. And lastly, what I am going to need before moving in my car is a savings goal. Like, I need a savings goal. I'm I'm just not trying to be all over the place. But that will be in tomorrow's video. So make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you all hit that bell notification to see what tomorrow has to bring. Has to bring, has to cook. Oh God, I don't know. Y'all just check it out tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. See y'all tomorrow. All right, stay vibrant. Peace. Bye. Man, I'm just trying to be me, homie. This ain't what you see on TV. That life ain't nothing like reality. Man, I'm just trying to be me. I'm just trying to be me. I'm just trying to be me. I'm just trying to be. Man, I'm just trying to be me. I ain't faking, I ain't
fucking fuck.